Hey everybody, today we're going to be speedrunning at Gink, and we're going to be getting all the trophies. I have, uh, what's it called, the game up and running in front of me. I'm about to actually, well, what you guys are watching is from a while, like, almost actually over a year ago. I'm going to pull up Egg Inc. on my phone right now, and we're going to get another copy going on the screen to fill it up more, and also so I can explain things a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to sync. I'm going to touch the drone right now. Okay, so yeah. So let's go ahead and, now that it's synced, move the screen that you see over and put this one up. That'll happen at some point. Huh, taking a little bit longer than expected. Maybe, maybe, whatever. Anyways, so let's talk about what's going on on the screen. Basically, what we're doing is speedrunning all of the trophies of Egg Inc. It would be nice if I could explain what a trophy was. There it goes, okay. Now let's move it over to the side, so let's take a look. And basically, uh, Egg Inc. is a game where you got these chickens and you hatch them like this and they hatch and they go into their little homes and these are their homes on the sides over there. And there's something called trophies. Oh wow, I can't show you what the trophies look like because I collected them all already. <laughs> um, that's unhelpful. Well, anyways, if you look at the screen on the left where I'm actually doing the speed run, and you look at the bottom, uh, you'll see a little trophy icon. And basically for every single trophy, there is, um, sorry, for every single egg, and let me show you all the eggs real quick. boop a doo So you've got the edible egg, the superfood egg, the medical egg, the rocket fuel egg, the super material egg, fusion, quantum, immortality, tachyon, graviton, dilithium, prodigy, terraform, antimatter, dark matter, AI, nebula, universe, and enlightenment eggs. And each one of these has a set of trophies. There's the bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond trophies. And each one requires you to have more and more chickens in your habs. And so for basically the speed run, we're gonna be going for all diamond trophies, except for enlightenment. Now the speed run starts on me resetting the prestige and which is a concept that you might not know. So let's, so in this menu where you have these eggs, there's a button here that says prestige info. And basically when you click this little purple button right here, it'll bring you back to the first egg, which is what we're on right now, the edible egg. And you'll get a little bonus at the bottom. It says 9.7 trillion of those little purple eggs. And that's not very important for what we have right now, but it's just basically a mechanic to like get more and more money. as you like progress through the game and as you play more and the, and so the screen on the left is, oh, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> so the screen on the left is doing the edible egg and it's actually, basically I made the speed run start when we reset because of the fact that we can assume that we got the universe 10 billion egg achievement, which is the last egg before enlightenment um right before this and then continuing on into edible afterwards and that just means that we basically cut out one egg by assuming that the time starts when we got that trophy which might as well be in reality i just, i got it a long time before this and it's just something that most people will already have so that's why the speed runs basically just skipping the last two eggs for the last egg the enlightenment egg let me show you why it's being skipped so you see how each of these eggs has a value so 100 billion and then when we upgrade it says it'll go to 1 trillion for ai then 15 trillion, then 100 trillion, and then it goes to zero. So for enlightenment, and um, for enlightenment, basically it's pointless to speed run that because for one, it's worth no money. So it takes you forever to get to that point in the game where you can even do it. But then also you're not allowed to use boosts and you'll see on the side and the t on the screen, we have a bunch of boosts. We have those like 20, 20x boost beacons, and then is that 2,000 for the actual trophies? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but there's tons of boosts and stuff. And in here, you'll see, we're, I think we're using two of these legendary pr prisms, and then also uh, two of these epic boost beacons that you see here. And basically what they do is they make it so that you get egg uh, chickens faster into your habit habitats. And, whoop, 
So these have a limit and you have to basically upgrade your eggs. Let me go ahead and just do one real quick. Oh look, another drone. They give a lot. Okay, anyways. <sighs> do I want to do this right now? I don't want to do this right now, but let's do it. Okay. So we're going to go over to the universe egg, which is the highest value egg, the one that we don't do in this video, or we don't speed run in this video. But basically, the, the way that each of these eggs is going to happen, and we're still on the first egg because of the fact that the first egg is the lowest value, and I was very afraid that I was going to fuck it up, and I really didn't want to fuck it up. So basically, you first can upgrade your halves so that they're max, but then you'll notice it only allows for 2.4 billion, even though it's the max. So even though we have the max there, we can't actually get it. And so what we need to do is we need to upgrade those habitats so that they can hold more eggs or more chickens in them. And along the way, there will be some upgrades. Like for instance, this one, internal hatcheries. Each hen adds two additional chickens per minute. So those 1000X boosts that we were just talking about only apply to those types of things. The ones that add two additional chickens per minute, like the inter it's, it's just called internal hatchery rate. And so they modify your internal hatchery rate. Whereas the boost beacons that we were talking about modify active boosts. So it's gonna be 20X times the 2000X times our current internal hatchery rate. And we're not gonna be, or maybe I'll boost, we'll see. I just wanna show you. So basically we, we, we are speed running, trying to upgrade all the way so that we can have 10 billion space in our haps. And that requires upgrading everything that involves hab space. And, but you need to upgrade other things so that you have the money to upgrade the hab space. But here, like this one here, grav plating, increase capacity of all halves by 2%. So we upgrade that, and then this neural linking one's very important because it is like the biggest amount of internal hatchery that you can get. And then if we keep going, blah, 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 you get to wormhole dampening. And so this becomes very expensive, and so it's very hard to get. But before it, you have 7.5 billion space. And then after it, you have enough, 10.735. And so, yeah, once you have that amount, 10, point, 10, 10 billion, you can go ahead and do the boosts. And the fastest way to get the boost is to do two of these legendary boost beacons, 50x each, and then three legendary tachyon prisms, 1,000x each. But that's ex extremely expensive because of the fact that this, those in the top right, you'll see the golden eggs. That's kind of like a paid currency. And so these boosts actually cost like that paid currency. You can get it in the game. You'll notice that every time I was hitting one of those drones that you saw, it gave me some golden eggs. And also you get them through here sometimes. That time I didn't. That time I got useless stuff. And yeah. And so you'll see here, um, I'm no longer on the edible egg. And I also did not get the achievement for it. And it's because I didn't do what I just did on my main screen right here, is buying more trains. And so I didn't have enough money <laughs> And I was like, I was, I freaked out. I freaked out so hard that I wasn't have enough hab space and like my habs were already full. And so I just said, shit, I need to ban, I need to abandon ship. So I just wasted like nine minutes of the speed run on the first egg, not even getting it. And now we're on this egg. And so we just finished that egg, the dark matter egg. And now we're going to do the AI egg. And so we're all out of order. I was originally planning on doing them from the edible egg up, th like ne after the edible, doing the super material, then doing, I think it's, what is it? The the, sh the iron material one? No, it's uh, medical, medical, I think. Yeah, and then it's rocket fuel, then it's the super material. And so, yeah, the super food was what I was originally gonna do next. But since I fucked up, I just like panicked and I was like, okay, let me do the easy ones while I can like, while I can like regather my thoughts and like, get everything back together again. And yeah, you'll see uh, just a bunch of upgrading and with the boosts running, but you'll notice that the, in the top left, my internal, or sorry, my actual chicken count's not going up. The top left number is the chicken count. Like it's going up in here right now. It's at 79,000, 80,000. And it's because of the fact that you have to upgrade your habs before it'll keep going. And so I was intentionally not upgrading my habs to keep that limit low. And now once I hit a roadblock, I upgrade them because once you start having the ability for them to fill up, you have a time limit. And if you can't upgrade enough to get past that time limit, or sorry, if you can't upgrade your Habs enough to support 10 billion before they fill up, then you're screwed. 
And that's because of a little mechanic called um, running chicken bonus. And so you'll see that when I start running the chickens, there's a number in the top left of the screen that starts going up. Now it's at 494, for instance. And basically it's like every time that you're running chickens actively by pressing the big red button at the bottom, you will just get a multiplier on your total money right now. And yeah, so once it fills up, you don't get that multiplier anymore because you can't overfill your Habs, so you can't press the red button anymore. And that makes it so that you're just kind of screwed. And a lot of the stuff, I'm, I'm covering it so that we can, so that the speed run makes more sense. But in reality, I am going to be covering all of this and more in an intro to egg video tomorrow. This whole week is going to be dedicated to egg ink. And so for those of you who watch my videos normally and you're not expecting egg ink com content, you're expecting Mario and Mario Kart and like Pokemon, sorry, but this week's a little different. <laughs> Yeah, and so that's what we're up to this week. And tomorrow I'm gonna hopefully be releasing a like how to uh, how to play egg ink like a pro video. And then the day after I'm gonna do like a rundown for like contracts. And one thing that you will see later on in this run, but you're not seeing right now, is that I'll use these things called artifacts. And if we like attach like stuff like this, all of all of these stones, those little eggs they increase your for internal hatchery rate by 4%, and then this increases your, your boosts by 25%. This one increases your internal hatchery by 35% plus the two stones. So, you know, there's like ways that I figure out how to make it faster because, spoiler alert, I run out of the boosts and I did all of my math and preparation wrong for this speed run. Surprise, surprise. And since I run out, I then just wanted to go ahead and use cheaper boosts because I didn't have a lot of golden eggs. You'll see in the top right corner after I stop upgrading things that I just don't have a lot of like the paid currency at this point in the game. Right now I've got a lot. Right now I've got 38 million. And that's because as the game goes on and goes on, you uh, the getting that, that golden egg stuff is just easier and easier. And yeah. And there's also this one thing, which is another reason why it was so funny that I screwed up the first egg in the speedrun, is there's this object right here called a gusset, and the gussets increase your hab capacity by 12% for this one, which I definitely had back then. And the reason it's so funny is that <laughs> I was at like 9.5 billion or something like that. I was really close to the 10 billion, and I forgot that you could equip one of these things to make it easier. So whoopsies i forgot that you could buy the the oh i didn't explain you have to buy these things because of the fact that as you get more chickens they'll lay more eggs and this is how you ship them and so if you can't ship all the eggs that the chickens are laying then it caps your actual income of money and yeah so that's that's that really that's <laughs> oh and yeah i think that that's pretty much all that we have to cover in the speed run so I go in the speedrun, I, I screw up edible, so then I do dark matter, AI, nebula, and then we jump back down to the edible egg, because at this point I've got my head about me, and then we do superfood, medical, rocket fuel, and once my boosts run out and I realize that I have to use cheaper boosts, I start using a strategy where I'll close the phone, or close the game for a little bit, and once when you close the game for a little bit, you'll see it right here. If I go to one of these contracts, it'll load this farm for the first time in a long time. And it'll show on the screen, while you were away, you got that many chick chickies and usually, or that many monies. And usually it'll say like also, you got this many new chickens. But because of the fact that you'll see, I already have 13.8 billion chickens in the top left and that's the most I can have. I didn't get any, but the reason why you want to leave the farm and come back like I did just in this is that you what's it called um you need to hmm you need to you need to oh yeah so when you're when you're away from the farm there's one of these there's this is like 
uh, it's called epic research it basically just upgrades like meta things in the game and one of these is called internal hatchery com here it is increase internal hatchery rate by 10 percent a while while away and we have increased by 200 percent which means that while we're away we get three times as many chickens laid and so yeah it turns out that leaving the farm alone and then coming back later becomes the optimal strategy <laughs> and when we have like a 2000x times the 20x internal hatchery, it's not necessary. We can just watch it go up like you're seeing right there. And I'm freaking out again right now because we're back on edible egg. And <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I don't want to fill up my halves yet. And I'm trying to upgrade as fast as possible. I'm trying to use more than one finger, but I'm crippled. <laughs> I've been crippled for so long. Actually, this is before I was crippled. This is before my surgery that I had on my wrist. So this this is like a year and a half ago that I recorded these. This is so funny. And the game's so different now as well. You'll see that like, well, first off, my phone's bigger than it was back then. But I think that it'll look the similar um, because of the scaling of the UI, but I'm not positive about that. Hmm. So here I go, hoping for the best and 7.5 billion there and i'm already limited but this time i remember that i can buy more of these and so i do and there's a time ticking clock and th the reason why this is the hardest egg in the speed run is because it's the lowest value it's the first egg i think it's worth what what 10 cents let's see 25 cents yeah i happen to have an egg on this already yeah okay let's go back home And so, yeah, everyone, um, everyone said this was a horrible idea to, like, waste mega boosts. And you'll see, look, I, this is my first time realizing, like, oh, yeah, I forgot about artifacts. Do I put, do I even put on a gusset? I do. Look, that's even worth more than 25%. And now I'm probably just set. I, like, it's so silly. Oh, I'm not set yet. I still need to upgrade a little bit. Boop, better do. And, but hopefully that shouldn't be hard, especially one of those things I just got was worth 10x or it, it 10x is your income and so makes you pretty rich and i'm like okay we can buy even more of these <laughs> stay in calm stay in calm just buy a few more of those and hopefully now we're at 10 billion so that's how we got the first egg and i might i don't know should i i might like speed through the rest of the eggs like have the clips run by faster just because of the fact that i don't want this video to take forever forever i mean it takes me over an hour to actually get all of these things and as the video keeps going it gets a little bit worse quality just because i start like leaving the game putting on a timer for a minute at the end of the timer coming back in and i'm going to cut out most of the time where i'm not in the game as well like sometimes i'll show a timer but usually i won't and yeah so i don't know that's pretty much all that's going on. And today we have a 4X cash boost. That's fun. I don't know. So yeah, I'll probably go ahead and sign off myself and just let the speed run play itself out. And we're gonna end time the moment that we get 10 billion or the moment that we collect the trophy for the 10 billion on, I think it's, I think the last one I do is antimatter, uh, cause I went out of order. Let's see, what was, what's right before dark matter? Antimatter, so yeah, once we collect the 10 billion, the diamond trophy for antimatter is when I'll, when I'm gonna stop time. And once time stops, I get, I, that's basically it. And then if you actually wanna know what the full speed run is, add two months, I think, to this. Yeah, add two months, and that's when I actually finished the last trophy, which was the Enlightenment trophy, but it took an extra two months after this to actually go ahead and get that, just because that's how long it takes to actually speedrun, or sorry, just to get that last 10 billion trophy. It's, it's, it's insane. But yeah, okay, so thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy the time lapse for the rest of the trophies.
and that's bringing us to the end so thank you so much for watching and if you're excited for for egg ink week oh by the way the reason why we're doing an egg ink week thing is because of the fact that on the 14th it's eggs inks birthday and and Egg Inc.'s birthday is a big deal, I promise. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, on Friday the 14th. And basically, there's going to be insane bonuses. Everyone's going to be going crazy, uh, playing the game for way, 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 way too many hours. And yeah, that's just kind of how it's going to go. So I hope that you're excited for all of the videos I'm going to come out with this week. We're going to do some tutorials. We're going to do some fun stuffs. And yeah, that's about it. Okay. Bye, everybody.